Hello, hello, hello. Good afternoon. Whoops. That was not the right button. Okay, I'm turning the screen around because, of course, it's backwards. Okay. I'm going to try to get you into view here. This is the chair from earlier today. Not if you happened to see it or not. But um, I'm going to try to get you to be able to see this while I'm working on it. Okay. And I better grab some paper towels just in case. All right, so here we go. I've got two coats of paint on here. Oh. And I'm gonna use this transfer, this part of the part of the transfer, the florals at the bottom. That is my thinking anyway. And then a stencil over that or around that. Not sure how I'm gonna do the florals yet. Probably something like that. And then the stencil says, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. So, hey Glenda. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. So, let's jump in. I can hear the combine outside. I hear Courtney yelling, so I don't know what she's yelling about, but hopefully nothing major. Okay, and then I'm actually also thinking that I might put Home Sweet Home across the back there. I think that would fit just perfect. So, how y'all are today? Let me see if I can get uh, comments on my iPad. Uh, the flipping furniture. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna get started, started, started. I do not have any chairs ready to go, Tasha, at all. This one's actually my mom's. I have a Halloween or a fall one almost ready, but but nope, that's it. I don't have any anything else that I'm that I have anywhere close to ready like that. So anywho, let's go on with the. Um, transfer and I think I'm just gonna place it over here it's not gonna stick quite yet I think so let's put the um let's see if I want that on there over it yeah I think that'll work and it looks like I need to try a little bit to get you guys in there a little bit better but okay we're gonna go for it right where it's at See what you guys are saying. Hey, Connie. Hey, Lori. Hey, Cheryl. Hey, Beth. I missed you. <laughs> this looks beautiful. Well, thank you, Cheryl. Let's hope it turns out okay. Okay. I'm going to use my little handy dandy stick here. My applicator has um, 3D stencil paste all over it. So that stuff's a booger to get off. That's some good stuff. But anyway, so I'm just gonna use my stick. Oh shoot, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to seal this first. That would have made this application go a little bit easier. Because these transfers love a slick surface. So let's see if it's sticking at all yet. So far. We've got some stickage going on. I really didn't think this through, squatting here on my knees. This is really not comfy. I should have brought in my little wheelie chair from the garage or something. Oh well. And I'm just in here in the kitchen today because I painted the chair in here. And I have class here in about an hour, so yeah. And it's gonna go home with my mom shortly. Not tonight, because I probably won't quite finish this. Because so I got a family, I'll probably wanna do a little bit of um, whitewashing or dry brushing or something 
after we do these fun things here yet. But I'm not gonna do, I'll probably take it back out to the garage for that because I can get kind of messy. But you guys know that, right? Okay. We've got it stuck everywhere. Just kind of making sure. I like to rub the halo, is my head right in the way? <laughs> I like to rub the halos down with my fingers because that pretty much disguises them. Yeah, it's fine. I changed my mind last minute, sorry. Oh, well hurry up. I've been on a while. Okay, I guess Courtney hasn't sent out any notifications to alert anyone, so. Is it best to seal your peas first, then seal over? I wouldn't say best, this is fine. Um, sometimes you have more trouble, especially with like a, a chalk paint, because it's a little more porous. Um, this is fusion mineral paint, so it went on really good. I really thought it might um, <clears throat> be a little dry for it, but, but yeah, if you put a sealer on first, that gives the transfer a little bit more of a slick surface to stick to. Not necessary. Totally um, your call. I've heard mixed reviews on both. I don't normally, unless it's um, one of those little cheap boards that I get off of Amazon. Oops, that's not what I wanted. Um, those are very rough. So those I do try to remember to um, put a sealer on first so that um, it makes the application a lot easier on those because those are kind of a booger. So if you weren't here in the beginning, um, this is also another part of the transfer that I'm gonna stick on here. Just says home sweet home. Looks like it'd go perfect there, right? Let me see what you guys are saying. Well, welcome Lisa, your first time on here. Welcome, welcome. Um, hey Stella. <laughs> hey Pat, yeah, surprise. <laughs> I came on and thought I would do this chair up real quick. Parts of it anyway, and then I need to get my booty in the in the front room and go over my notes and make sure I have everything in order for tonight for class. Night two. I don't know if I keep putting my oh, you guys can't hardly oops, hardly even see. But yes, this is a home sweet home on the back of this chair. Hopefully it looks okay there. But my mom's house is gray, but it's a lighter color gray than this. She wants it outside. I'm sure it's not gonna last forever outside because nothing does. But I will tell you that these are not UV resistant, so. I'm hoping she will put them in the shade, but, but anyway, it'll be, if nothing else, we'll, we will learn something from it. We'll learn how long they last with moderate sunlight. And this is painted with fusion mineral paint and it is um, supposed to be good for outside. So I have not tested it myself. So this would be a good test for that also. Okay. There we've got a nice little faint, I like that home sweet home on the background. And again, I'm just rubbing it down a little bit. I think that, and by halo, I mean just the little bit of clear that's around the project. I think it, that helps a lot just to rub your finger over it. But So there's the home sweet home on the back. I hope you can see it. Hey, Shelly. Okay, now I'm gonna add a stencil. And Courtney, if you're able, um, <clears throat> I, uh, if you want to put in a link for the stencils, these stencils are 20% off through midnight tonight. So don't dilly dally, but, and they are super quick shipping. I think I ordered this Sunday night. No, was it Monday? I don't know. One day this week and it came today. I'm like, perfect. So I could uh, show you guys before the sale ends. And I gotta figure out what I'm doing here. I think I'm gonna go with the black for the stencil. Yeah, there it is. I knew I brought it in. And guess who bought paper plates? <laughs> I have paper plates now. Okay, 
I'm gonna squat for a while because my knees are killing me from sitting on them, so. Hello, Tara, welcome, welcome. Another new one. Sorry, the angle is horrible, but that's what I'm working with today. Let me see if I like the placement pretty much. I think so. So anyway, my mom is gonna have this on her front porch, I do believe, which would not be my recommendation. <laughs> Just because, like I said, the um, uh, the transfer will um, fade. How quickly, how bad, I don't know. But, you know, we either, what is it, we win or we learn, something like that. I've been saying that a lot lately. So anyway, this will be an experiment, if nothing else, that I can come back and let you know how it's going. But I think once I get done with this stencil, unless I hit it a second time, um, that'll be all I'm going to do on it today. And then I'll probably just take, um, uh, some white paint and do a little bit of dry brushing to, uh, liven up the gray just a little bit. Sorry, I'm not able to watch many comments at all today. Moving up in the world by getting paper plates. Yes! You know, how long has it been that I have struggled? It's like, oh, I need paper plates. I keep, I keep using cardboard scraps, backs of paper. Yeah. What color gray is that? Um, it's Hazelwood. Sorry, I missed that. Yep, it's Hazelwood. It is beautiful. I'm not technically a gray lover, but I do love this gray. I mean, I like gray. I just don't decorate with it. And I know you guys got to be tired of hearing me say that because I say it all the time. But... This is very pretty. I actually painted my um, interior of my garage door with this a couple months ago, probably, when it first came out, because this is a newer color. Anybody on here coming to class tonight? I know Shelly might be. Um, Wanda, Wanda's asking, do the dabbers work better than a brush, I think is what she said. Um, for me, yes. It's all what you're used to, though, I think. Some people, if they've started with a brush and it works good for them, that's what they'll use forever, and that's perfectly fine. I started with a brush and did not love it. <laughs> so, and I might have had the wrong brush. I might have had all the wrong circumstances. So, I am not dissing anybody who uses a brush. More power to you. Use what you love. Use what you have. Make it work. <laughs> But these are what, what I prefer. And, but you know, it gives a little bit of a different look. You can go really light with them too. And it looks more um, faded, distressed, vintagey kind of. I think I'm gonna hit that a little bit more. It looked a little bit thin, a little bit light there. But I was also running out of paint. And these are thin little letters here, which is harder to do. So I'm kinda gonna hit that, some of these again. Get it a little bit darker, but actually leaving it that color might look really good too. Okay, there's what we have for now. I think I might stop there. I was gonna do like a um, highlight with some white paint over the black, but I don't know, I think I kinda like that. Okay, I'm gonna plop, so. Oh, shoot. <laughs> don't laugh, that was not cute, but. Okay, and I'm gonna try to see what you guys are saying. I hate that when I don't have somebody here to read and I got to keep my nose into what I'm doing. Let's see, is that better? Yeah. So, oh shoot, I just got out of it. Okay. Oh shoot, I'm not even in the right page now. Doggone it. Struggle is real with this one, let me tell you. Okay, let's, no, doggone it. It keeps going back to my workshop from last night for some reason. There we go. Come on. So it's probably not gonna show me all the comments either. I have to call for backup. Well, I might just have to look at my phone. 
Okay, you love it. You just got that paint the last you ordered. Well, good, Lori. Yeah, I like it too. Do a class on how you use two colors on a stencil and it looks like double letters. I don't know that that's worthy of a whole class. <laughs> and I think I have probably done it in the stencil workshop, the stencil and transfer workshop I did a while back. How are you slow to that or outside? I'm not sure what you're meaning, Verla. How are you? I don't know what you're saying. Um, I will seal this yet <clears throat> just because I mean, it's fusion, so it doesn't have to be sealed. But um, but being outside, uh, but since I put the transfers over, over the top of it, the transfers do need um, sealed. So yeah, I will definitely seal. Um, I don't know if anybody even asked that because I cannot get my do that. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Sorry. Let's see if I can get, I'm gonna try one more time, but yeah, I'm not getting it on here. Um, I'm gonna take it down here and so I can see what you guys have been saying. Maybe. Okay. <sighs> Ver, okay, Frederica, hello, Frederica. Hey, Shannon. Oh, my eyes are like crossing. Tried to read too close to me. Thank you, Frederica. Yeah, I like it too. I hope my mom likes it. Hello, Shannon. If I didn't, I think I already said hello, didn't I? I'm all, all over the place here. Just placed a stencil order right before the deadline. Awesome. Oh, shoot. That reminds me. I need to get, a, I want to place one more order too. I've got this one that just came today, but um, how are you to do that for outside? Oh, uh, like I said earlier, I do not recommend this for outside whatsoever. Um, I just, I don't know. In my personal opinion, nothing lasts outside forever, but, <clears throat> um, fusion mineral paint is supposed to be good for outside. Um, the main problem with this would be the, um, transfer because it's not UV resistant, so it will, it will fade. Um, thank you, Shelly. Thank you, Sharon. Okay, I'm sorry if I missed some. Do you have that dabber? Oh, no, I don't sell it myself. I've never been able to find them wholesale. Um, but Courtney can put a link in. Um, of where to find some, I think. Yes, Lori, exactly. That's what I said earlier, that we will have her, she will be the guinea pig for it. But, um, and hey, if it don't turn out, we'll sand it off and repaint it and call it good and not put it, put this cute stuff on there. So there's kind of a really close up view there. But now I can't see comments. Hey, Diane. You can see the whole chair again. Okay, yep. <clears throat> I got my face out of there, but now I can't hardly read the comments, so. Okay, so I'm gonna hop off of here and go get ready for my workshop tonight. So I know I'll hopefully be seeing some of you in there in a little while. But I just thought I would hop on and do this real quick. And like I said, I will probably do a little bit of um, dry brushing with white onto it just to give it a little, jazz it up a little, but that won't be today. And I'll have to take that back outside or in the garage for that because I go, I might, I might flick a little extra stuff somewhere. So I'm going to hop off for now and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Oh, if I can figure out how to get out.